What's good, y'all? Check out what I got. The DNA testing thing. I'm gonna find out about my heritage. So, uh, it says, now I got the kit. I gotta go on the site to register. Let's go ahead and do that. And then start spitting there and sending it back. And we'll see the results, man. I just registered and spat in the sample container. Now let's put it in and send it back. Alright, man, let's mail this back and see what we get. Let's get it. It said to expect to receive my result on 22nd, but it came a lot early. So, uh, yeah, man, let's check out our uh, results, man. Uh, it's got two options. I don't know what this one is. Uh, this is the main thing I was looking for, my ancestry. Oh, shit, look at that, man. Look at that. I'm only 89.1% Chinese. That means there are 11% other stuff. So, check this out, man. It's mainly here. I'm... East Asian and Native American. So I do have Native American blood. First Nation blood of North America. Austronesian and Filipino. What is that, man? Coptic Egyptian. Making up 10% of the Egyptian population. Copts are a Christian minority. That's funny because I'm a Muslim. Minority who share an ancient history with non-Coptic Egyptians that dates back before the first pharaohs. However, after the 7th century conquest of Egypt by the Reshidun Caliphate, the Christian Copts began to become genetically distinct from the Muslim majority population. While the Coptic language was replaced by Egyptian Arabic outside of a strictly religious setting, today most Copts live in Egypt and Sudan. But there are also large Coptic communities living in the United States, Australia, and Canada. Well, I'm right here right now. It means I got some like, is that Arabic or something? And look at my uh, Dungnaya bloodline right here. I always get along with Tagalog speaking people in my work, man, the Filipinos. Yo, Filipino brothers, man. What's up? I don't know where any of these places are. Maybe the Filipino brothers got to fill me out. I'm a little disappointed. I don't see no Viking blood, but... So, my Chinese blood contains uh, all these places, right? These are the weaker ones. These are the stronger ones. So, I got mostly Guangdong, Zhejiang, Fujian, Shanghai, Shandong. Oh, man, I got Shandong right here, man. That's northerner. Shandong, Jiangsu, Shanxi, Hubei, Sichuan, Henan. That's crazy. And Taiwan, I got... Uh, Taipei, Tainan, City, Kaohsiung, Taichung. Uh, that's my bloodline right here for Taiwan. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, let's go back. And uh, right here, we got this. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm going uh, to have to research about that. These are extinct species, man. Yeah, right here. Neanderthals are suspected to be the first humans to carry out the symbolic gesture of burying their dead and adorning gravesites with flowers. They were the first human species to make tools out of bone. They also created objects that served ornamental purposes. Neanderthals may have also created what may be the world's oldest cave art, which was found in Spain. Some scientists believe the Neanderthals were killed or outcompeted by modern humans or Homo sapiens. Ancient, ancient bloodlines of uh, not even modern humans. The humans that have been extinct. Man. Yeah, this thing is crazy, man. It's got third cousins and a lot of relatives. It appears a lot of my relatives are in Kaohsiung. It's my uh, relatives that use 23 and me as well, man. All across the world. Yeah, it also has like a, a line of where my ancestors uh, traveled. I guess this is to North America. And some of them to here. Uh, some of them to here. And uh, yeah, I gotta figure this out, man. I don't know what this means. Alright, uh, man. There you have it. It's my DNA. Let's look for some rich relatives or something. <laughs> yeah, there are 55 pages of relatives. That's incredible. Alright, I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace out.